Hey, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stella and I make videos talking about today's technology and tutorials on how we can use them. Today I'll be showing you how to set up and install Laravel on your Mac computer. By the end of this video, you'll have a working simple web application that you are able to run on your local host. So, let's get started. Before we begin to install Laravel, we need to make sure that we have a few things installed prior to our Laravel installation. The first thing we need to make sure is that we have PHP 7.2 or higher, so we can go to PHP dash dash version in our terminal to see our current version, and we need to have MySQL installed. To do that, we will type MySQL dash dash version to see our current MySQL version. If one of them is missing or out of date, I would recommend installing Homebrew by going to brew.sh and copying this to paste it on your terminal to download Homebrew. Let's go back to our terminal and we will paste it onto our terminal. It will ask us for a password. Homebrew will download the missing packages you need and it will create the directories for you while sim linking the files into your user local directory. After you're done installing Homebrew, you can type brew install PHP at 7.4 and that will install your PHP at version 7.4. If you don't have MySQL installed, all you have to do is type in brew install MySQL and this will install your MySQL for you. After that, we'll open up our code editor of our choice. I'm using Visual Studio Code and if you would like to follow along but don't have VS Code, I made a tutorial video about that and I'll link it above. Now that we're in Visual Studio Code, let's open up a project folder. So let's go to open folder. And I would like to open my Laravel folder. And this is where I'm going to store all my files for the web application. Now that we have our Laravel project folder open, we need to install one more thing before we can install Laravel itself. And that is a composer. So what we will do is go to getcomposer.org and click download right here. And you can see that composer is a dependency manager for PHP. And basically what that does is it will help you install any dependencies that Laravel or any future applications you use will need. So to install all of this, we will copy this all to our terminal. However, I'll be using the terminal inside our VS Code. And we will go here to open up our terminal. And we will paste it in here to install our composer. Our composer was downloaded locally. However, we want to access this composer.far file anywhere. To do that, we will go back to the getcomposer.org and click on getting started. After that, we will click on globally right here because we are on Mac. And we will copy and paste this line into our terminal to put it in a directory that is part of our path. So let's go back to our Visual Studio Code and let's paste it on here. Now since our directories are changed, we can run Composer. We get our Composer utility where it will have many options of what to do. For example, we can install project dependencies or we can even remove a package from the require or require development. Because our composer is global, we can go to any folder directory and run our composer utility. You can see we changed our directory and our composer utility still runs. Next, we'll use composer to install Laravel. So we'll go to laravel.com and click on documentation and getting started installation. And we'll go down here to install Laravel using composer. We will copy this right here and paste it into our Laravel folder. And this global require will make your Laravel globally available on any directory. We also need to make sure that this directory is available globally as well. And just a note, this home right here is your home directory. Mine's users slash Stella. If you don't know yours, you can just do echo home and it will tell you where your home directory is at. To update our path to add this directory, we will type in sudo nano exit path and then our password. You can see that I've already added this directory into my path file, so we will get out of here. And then when we echo our path, we should be able to see our .composer slash vendor slash bin directory. That bin directory is now in your path and every executable in the bin directory that is installed globally through Composer will also be available anywhere. After doing this, we are ready to create our first Laravel project. Since we are already in our folder of choice, we can create our new Laravel project by typing Laravel new and then your project name. For our instance, we will do test Laravel. We can see that the composer is pulling in all the dependencies we need in order to run Laravel. 
To see that we are successful in creating a new framework and running on your local host, we'll go back to this website and we'll have two options, either Homestead or Valet. Homestead is for more experienced developers and allows you to use the tool Vagrant to set up a virtual machine separate from your installation. If you need a virtual machine, then Homestead is for you. However, we'll be exploring Valet for the Mac. First, we'll need to pull in Valet globally with the composer. So we'll go down to installation and we will copy this line of code right here and paste it onto our terminal and run it. After Composer is done doing its thing, we will type in valet install to install the valet. We will type in our password to confirm the installation. Basically, this will help configure and register your valet's daemon to launch whenever your system starts. After valet has been successfully installed, we need to make this project available to valet. So what we'll need to do is type valet park and your project name, which is test larva. And now our test larva directory has been added to valet's path. To test that this is working, we'll go open a new tab and type in our project name, which is test laravel.test. And we should be greeted with the Laravel welcome page. And here we go. Here's their welcome page. So if you're curious and want to make sure that it's really working, we can change up the code a little bit. So we'll go to our test Laravel project and we'll go to routes and web.php. Right now it is returning the view welcome. So views stored in the resources folder. So resource views welcome. To change this view, we will just control all and just type in a simple hi and save the file. So now when we refresh this page, we should just see hi. And that's it. That's how you set up and install Laravel onto your Mac computer. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you are able to follow along and create your first Laravel project. If you liked this video or thought it was useful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I make videos like this every single week, so if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future tutorial videos, please make sure to leave them down in the comment box below. Other than that, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next week.